Hello and welcome to Around the House with Kay and Tom and today we're hankering for some chicken wings and so we're going to come over here and put them in this Ninja Foodie Grill here after I get them prepared a little bit but we're going, we're going to uh, air fry them anyway just to see what it'll do. Well, this has air crisp on it so we're going to try them in there. Let me say, like I said, we've got to get them ready first and then we'll go. <clears throat> but I'm going to time it from right now. So I'm going to tell you exactly how long it takes from right now until the time we get them ready. Okay, now these are wings right, these wing parts right here, this is the, you know, the two parts that everybody likes, I guess. But they have the parts we like anyway. But, uh, they're thawed out, they're not frozen or anything. And so first thing I'm gonna do is rinse them off a little bit. Now we'll put them on this paper towel right here. I'm only gonna do 10. I'm here by myself and it's about lunch time so 10 is what it would be. Now these are nice size ones here. That looks more like a drumstick than a wing drumette. <laughs> okay now Okay, now I've got them dried off pretty good. I'm going to put them in this glass bowl right here. And what I'm thinking about when y'all get a chance after you do this, you make sure you clean your counter real good because you know how all that chicken juice gets down on there like that. You don't want it to stay there. Okay, now. And everybody says it, <clears throat> that uh, olive oil has a low smoke point to it, so I'm going to go ahead and use this uh, uh, pound today. It says it's got this orig it's the original, it's uh granola oil blend. And from what I read, granola oil was supposed to be up there about 400 degrees or something like that. So I'm just going to spray them down a little bit with this. Now I've got some of this uh, Tony's lemon pepper I'm going to put in here. Okay, now I've got some Lowry's chicken and poultry rub. I thought chicken was poultry, so. <laughs> I don't know. So anyway, I'm going to put some of that in here. Alright. Now we're going to stir this up pretty good right here. And as you see, we need some more on it. That's what I love about these cheap gloves. I don't mind throwing them away after you use them a little bit. I'll spray them a little more. Actually, this is just more or less, to, well, it helps them crisp up too, but it uh, helps all the ingredients here to, to stay with it. Now both of these ingredients that I'm putting on here have uh, salt and pepper in them. So I'm not going to add any more salt or pepper until I finish with them. Then if I want some more on there, then I'll put some more on there. I won't put any more of this stuff on there. Okay, now I'm going to stir this up pretty good. 
Now, of course, like it's all covered pretty good right here now. Oh, yeah. Huh. I've washed these gloves. They'll come right off if you're not careful. All right, now. Yeah, take them off again and throw them away. Okay, now we're going to come over to the Ninja uh, grill here. We're going to turn on the power. And then we'll go hit Air Crisp. And it's at 390. That's where I want that. And my time here. Hit Time. And it says 20 minutes. I want it to be 22 minutes. Okay, and then you hit Start button. Now, with the Ninja Grill here, it wants to make sure that you preheat it before it does anything. So it goes through this preheating mode, and it's going to tell you when to put the food in. So, I'll see if I can time it where I can tell you about how long it takes to preheat this. I think it's going to be about five minutes, but we'll see. Okay, that preheated a whole lot quicker than I thought it was going to. And so now it says add food. Okay, so I'm going to lift the lid. I'm going to dump these wings right down in there. And drop the bowl. Huh. Slick bowl. Huh. Okay, move them around just a little bit without touching that pan, because that pan I guarantee you is hot. Or I wouldn't say they had food. All right, now shut the lid. And that's it starts counting down from your 22 minutes. So, we'll be back in a few minutes while I check it. Won't be long. Okay, now when it gets down to uh, 15 minutes, it will have been going for 7 minutes. I'm going to take a look at it. See what it looks like. Y'all can look too. Why you got a chance again, join our channel and give us a thumbs up. We sure appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much for all you people watching our videos. It really means a lot to us. Alright, it's been an extra seven minutes now. So that's looking good. Let me sit and get you a little closer so you can see more. Right, we'll hear that sizzle. That's uh, some good sizzle right there. Alright, I'm going to shut the lid and get it started back again. After you finish watching this video sometimes, about going down and checking out our links down below, you might find something down there you like, including this Ninja Grill here. Because I'll have a link to it to Amazon down below. So go there and check it out. Okay now we're coming up on 12 minutes here, so I'm gonna take another look at them and probably turn them over if another one more look and see if I need turning over. But let's take a look now. Whew. I don't know if these things need anything except eating or not. Now I want you to look. Now this is this is the same characteristic as the uh, Ninja Foodie. That browns. Now that was on the bottom. See, it, it browns is good, if not better, on the bottom than it does from the top. So I don't really see much use in turning them over. You know, so I'm just going. Oh, look at another piece here. See the way that's starting to brown there, and that was on the bottom. So. I don't see much use in turning these. I'm just going to shut the lid and let them go a little bit longer. I'm pretty sure they're not done yet, but I will stick a thermometer in them. Let me see here what it says. I hit the bone. I'll tell you what, according to the thermometer, these things are... 
see now the thermometer says they're done but that red juice coming out shows me it's not so I'm gonna let them cook on a little while longer but I don't know what the deal is with the thermometer when you stick in there like that sometimes because according to the temperature it's done but when you see that red juice coming out like that in chicken you know it's not quite done so we're going to let it go a little while longer here so we'll shut the door and there it goes back again so we'll be back in a few minutes I'm not going to take it out and try to eat it like that I want it a little crispier than that anyway Okay, now it's coming up on 18 minutes. We've been cooking these things, and I just can't see how they would need any more cooking from what I see down in there. So I'm going to, when I guess down to four minutes, I'm going to take them out, and they'll give it 18 minutes. Now, one thing I wanted to mention to you about the inside of this thing, now, you could easily put 20 wings in here, and that's what I usually cook for, for k and I, is 20 wings. And see, as long as you fix them like this, boy, that's hot coming off there. As long as you fix them like this, you could easily get 20 down in there, no problem. Now, if you go bread them like with flour and milk and stuff like that, you can't lay them on top of each other, so you have to lay them down individually, and you wouldn't be able to get 20 in there. But you'd probably get 12 or 14 if that ain't trouble, because this is 10, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, it's only eight. Okay. Wasn't as hungry as I thought when I counted them out. So, I'll take them out. Boy, they sure do look and smell good. And by the way, that was <clears throat> 32 minutes from the time I started washing these until the time I took them out a while ago. So if, if you need a time, time schedule, that's what it was, 32 minutes. So let, let these cool off just a little bit and I'm going to give them a taste test. Hmm. Okay, that's <clears throat> it's been about five minutes since I took these out, so I'm going to... Try to pick up. It's still pretty hot. Hmm. Well, that's getting done. They were really juicy. Mm mm mm. Now some of you might like barbecue sauce on them. Now will be time to do that. You can take a little container and pour your barbecue sauce on them and shake them all up. It'll be like that. Or you can have a little barbecue sauce on the side. Or I'll just like them like this. This is good to me. Okay, now these are really good, which is what I got on here. Like I say, you might want some other stuff on them. I cooked them for 18 minutes at 390 degrees. And it took 32 minutes from the time I started washing them in the sink to the time they come on this plate over here. So, till next time, I hope you enjoyed this little video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. I hope you come back and see us real soon. And if you can, join our channel and give us a thumbs up. We sure would appreciate it. And so, until next time, goodbye now. Okay, and now for all you nice folks that stuck around and will show you a little bit about how to clean this out and it's not hard none of the ninja stuff is hard to clean first of all you take this right here see now I'm going to take this over to my trash can and just wipe it out some of the grease because I don't want all that grease going down in my sink if I can keep from it because I got a septic tank system to take care of so I'll be right back Okay, now you see I've got most of that grease out of there. And so, like I say, it's nothing much to clean up this thing. It's just... Now all I've done to it over there was just wipe it out with a paper towel. I didn't do anything else. Now, I don't know what I'm doing with this hot hand glove on. It's not that hot.
anymore. Set that aside. Get carried away, you know. You just want to keep on going. Alright, now we'll press it off over here. Now, you people have got dishwashers. I would still recommend that you just wipe that out in, the, in your trash can first. But now, if you don't care nothing about your pipes or you don't think it'll hurt them, well, you go ahead and do what you want. <laughs> but see how good that come clean, how easy that was? Now, let me show you the other part over here. Make sure it's not too hot for me to pick up. Now you can see down in that, if I turn the light on, you can see. You can see down that where, where all that grease. Now see if you was doing that in the frying pan or something like that, now you'd be eating all that. You sure? But with the Ninja Foodie, I mean with the Ninja Grill and the Ninja Foodie, you don't eat all that. So now we'll take this over to the trash can and uh, wipe it out also. Okay, now once again, all I've done now is wipe that out with just a paper towel. Now I could actually stand there and, and keep on wiping it out with paper towels until it would be clean enough to, to use again. <clears throat> but I'd whole lot rather wash it and do it that way. So. Somebody asked Kay one time, she said, wouldn't you like to have a good dishwasher? She said, I've got a good dishwasher. <laughs> so, hey. That's the way we go around here. Now you can't ask for nothing any easier to clean than this right here. You sure can't. Now there's one more little piece here. Now they recommend that you clean this off every time after you use it. And not much to clean off. But I'll tell you what's the truth right now. I wish all air fryers and crispers had one of these in them. Yeah. I'm doing this just for demonstrations and because I said to do it after ever every, every uh, cooking but there's not that much there to clean off of this thing but I've seen some of the burners and the others you know and so after a while they do get caked up and you have to do something about it but now that, that's all there is to it. Now you just have to put put the pieces back in there the way they come out and you're done with this. But you can't get anything any easier to clean than that after you've been cooking chicken wings in them. So now that's the end for everybody. So thanks again for y'all sticking around seeing how I clean this thing. And so until next time y'all have a real good and safe day and thanks again for watching. Goodbye now.